Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour. In the previous video, 759, I showed you how to get a Bitcoin wallet. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use an exchange to get some Bitcoin, exchange dollars for Bitcoin, and put it into that wallet. There are lots of different ways to buy Bitcoin, but here's what we did. We start with a bank account that has dollars in it. You are going, if you do this, you're going to know the routing number and account number of your bank. Then you open up an account with a crypto exchange. The one we used is called Coinbase. And you attach the bank account to the exchange. So you have to, you have to set up an account with Coinbase. You have to give them all sorts of information, including the routing number and account number of your bank account. Then you can tell Coinbase how much money you want to exchange for Bitcoin. Once your Bitcoin exists in your Coinbase account, then you can send some of it out to your wallet. In our case, it was it's a blue wallet that we set up on an iPhone. Let me show you what I mean. So here is my Coinbase account. It's just coinbase.com on a browser, and then you're lo you sign in with your account. One of the things I really like about Coinbase is the learning. They know that a lot of people are just learning about cryptocurrency, and they have a very extensive learning center. And you can come here and learn about it even if you don't have an account. So on my home page, it tells me I have $338 worth in there. But what exactly is that? I'm going to click on assets and show that I have no dollars in here right now. Why? Because I transferred dollars in from my bank account and then I exchanged them all for Bitcoin. So I have $328 worth of Bitcoin, which is 0 0.0137, you know, point, it's a little over a one hundredth of a Bitcoin right now. And I want to send some of that to my iPhone, to the wallet, the blue wallet on my iPhone. To do that, it's not buy and sell, it's send and receive. I want to send some Bitcoin to the wallet I just set up. Send and receive and send. Pay with Bitcoin. Yes, I want Bitcoin to be sent from my Coinbase account to my wallet. How do I send it? Mobile or email? I'm not sure exactly how those work. It's something that must be set up in your account already. Address. That means the address of the wallet you want to send it to. So let me show you where you find that. So to find the address of the wallet that I want to send it to, I open up the blue wallet that I just installed on my iPhone. Notice it says Chris's demo wallet and there is zero Bitcoin in there. If I tap on the wallet, I have the option to send or receive. So from here, I want to receive. If somebody wanted to send me some and they're sitting right beside me with their wallet, they can just scan my QR code. But I need to send the address. That's this long, I think it's 34 characters. So I need to copy that so I can paste it in on, on my Coinbase. So what I've done, I've sent an email to myself. So here is my wallet address that I sent to myself in an email and I want to copy it. The Bitcoin colon isn't part of the address. It starts with BC1 and I will copy that. Then I'll go back to Coinbase and paste that in, in the to line. And an optional message. Now I'm not going to send much. I'm going to send $10 worth. Now realize you need to make sure you're on dollars. If I typed in 10 while I was on Bitcoin, that would be... 238,777. Nope, I don't have that much. So I need to make sure it's on dollars and then I'm just going to type in 10. 
So I've sec selected $10 worth of Bitcoin. I'm going to send to this wallet address, which is the address of the wallet on my iPhone. Continue. It expects to be received in about 30 minutes. So I will pause this recording and show you when that happens. Send now. And the $10.60, 60 cents is the fee tells me that it's been done, but it still takes a while to process. I'm done. Now we just wait. In less than a minute, I got a notification on my iPhone that a transaction is pending. Within 15 minutes, I got another notification from my blue wallet that a transaction was received. So that that $10 bought me, what's that, four ten thousandths of a Bitcoin or 42,000 sats. Every sat or satoshi is a hundred millionth of a Bitcoin. And we are done. My wallet now has something in it. Every time you tap it, it gets the different denomination. So my wallet now has $10 in it. Now, why couldn't I just leave it in Coinbase? You could. It's on a, that is a wallet in Coinbase. That's called a custodial wallet because Coinbase has custody of the private keys. They are just holding it for me, whereas the wallet on my phone is non-custodial. I own the keys to this wallet, and this is how you play the Bitcoin game. <laughs>